from Crema Media in Johannesburg, this is The Real Economy Report. During a recent equipment factory tour, multinational original equipment manufacturer group Aztec Industries highlighted the facility's 106-year legacy in manufacturing crushers, showcasing machines such as the FT200 Mobile Track Cone Crusher and GT125 Mobile Jaw Crusher. Sabrina Jardim tells us more. As a local manufacturer of modular solutions, including screens, jaw crushers and cone crushers, Aztec notes that there are significant benefits for clients choosing modular plants, which include reducing the engineering requirements for the construction of a new plant. A further advantage is that the plant can be disassembled quickly and relocated to another site. In this vein, the company notes that its modular jaw crusher, cone crusher and screening plants are easy to build and are mounted on skids, making them easier to assemble. They are also easy to transport and re-erect on a new site, with a plant designed to fit into containers when they are dismantled, which makes transportation easier and cheaper. You know, if we think about this site here, uh, it's got a legacy of 106 years manufacturing crushers, celebrated their 100 year anniversary in 2019. So today we, we walked some of our customers around some of the equipment that you see around us here. And then, as you say, we also give them a, a glimpse into some of the some of the new products that we have coming in the future uh, that we're really excited about. Um, we think it's going to going to help customers solve some of their, their their issues on a daily basis, be it service or maintenance. And then we're also really focused on, on safety and, and lowering our customers cost cost per ton. Um, this site here in Johannesburg uh, play, plays a big a big part in those plans. Aztec Industries Africa and Middle East Regional Sales Director for Infrastructure Solutions, Calvin Fennell, said modularity gives Aztec's clients the critical ability to scale and adapt quickly in fast-changing operating environments. He described it as a smart solution for the challenges customers face in mining and quarrying today. He noted that because Aztec's modular jaw crushers, cone crushers and screens are manufactured in Johannesburg, customers in South Africa and across the African continent also have the advantage of reduced lead times and faster delivery and commissioning. So for the facility here, we've, we've had a really successful event. Uh, a lot of the equipment you see around you here has actually been sold today. Um, so for this site here, uh, we need to make sure that we, we support those products and we provide our customers here with the service and backup that's needed to make those products successful on site. The team here have walked through the stores today and, and seen their spare parts area. It looks really good and, and the team, team are focused on, on putting the effort into, into that support area. During the tour, White outlined Aztec's future growth plans, which includes organic growth and future acquisitions, highlighting specific targets set for 2030. Speaking on global manufacture of specialized equipment for asphalt road building, aggregate processing and concrete production, Osborne engineered products as unification under Aztec in 2021, White expressed that customers benefit from the combination of legacy knowledge and new features, noting that Aztec has new products on the horizon. We've set ourselves as a company, we've set ourselves targets that we want to uh, achieve by 2025. We've set ourselves uh, targets that we want to achieve by, by 2030. Uh, quite a bit of that will be through organic growth, which is where sites like the facility here in Johannesburg play, play a big part in that. Uh, some of that you would have seen from recent announcements will also be by, by future acquisition. So uh, yeah, we've, we've got pretty tight targets on, on where we want to be in the future. Um, right now I would say on some of the mobile products around you, we've, we've got a, a minimal market share. Uh, but we've a lot of plans in place and we've already put a lot of finance and effort uh, in, into growing that market share. And again, the site here with Chambers, the site in Oma with a new new facility, uh, we're, we're pushing hard to achieve those goals. So while we're marketed under, under the Aztec name today, uh, we've a proud strength of all those legacy brands behind us. And, and really that gives us a great foundation to, to go and do what we need to do. So from a customer perspective, uh, you're getting the best of both worlds uh, because we're taking everything that we, we know from a legacy perspective adding some new features and uh, you have a lot of exciting new products coming here in the near future and we looked at a few of those today. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insight into South Africa's real economy. And don't forget to listen to the audio version of our engineering news daily email newsletter.